Hi, this is David McCam for Elementor 360. Welcome to another 360 tutorial. In this video, I want to take a look at a new feature of Dynamic Content for Elementor. Dynamic Content for Elementor recently released a new front-end navigator. It allows you to look at the structure of your Elementor content from the front end. It's a useful debugging and informational tool works with Elementor and all add-on widgets no matter the vendor. You find the settings for the front-end navigator in the Dynamic Content for Elementor Global Settings area. This first checkbox toggles on and off the front-end navigator. This checkbox allows you to enable the front-end navigator for a visitor who's not logged in. They'll need a special URL parameter in order to see it. And this checkbox toggles on and off the copy button. Let's take a look on the front end. To start, we're going to look at the Elementor 360 resources page. And I've chosen this one because it's got a rather complex structure. For one thing, it's the archive for a custom post type. Resources, each of these is a resource, an Elementor resource. And the Elementor resources are organized by three categories, themes, plugins, and tools. And each of these sections is a template that uses the Elementor Custom Skin plugin to create a loop to output the content by category. Let me show you what I mean by using the front end navigator. You're probably familiar with the Edit with Elementor button. But next to it, there's now a dynamic content for Elementor front-end navigator. These elements here are for the different components. This is the page, Elementor resources. You can click here and go into the Elementor editor to edit this page. This is the archive. You can click here to go and click the archive. And this is the extension loop, which is the template created using the Elementor custom skin plugin. And you can click here to go in and edit the template. If we click on the high level menu, we get a sidebar that shows us the complete structure of the page with all of its elements. This is very similar to the navigator within the Elementor editor, but there are a few differences. These items in yellow are the pages, the archives, and the templates. Then the sections are in blue. And then within the template, you have these elements here. If you select something, you can see that it highlights that on the page so you know exactly which item is where. To the side here is an edit button. If you click on that edit button, you see you go directly into the Elementor editor and that heading that we clicked on is open in the editor and we could make a change. Also, when you select an item from the navigator, an information panel opens here on the left. It tells you that's a widget, the time it took to render this widget. So if you have a performance problem on the page, you can use the time information to debug it and see if there's something slowing down your page. And it tells you which category in the Elementor editor this widget is in, i.e. basic in this case. Then there's a toggle button here where you can show or hide that widget. And you would use this if you're having some problems with page rendering and you want to check and see what's throwing off your layout. This button here copies that element into the clipboard and you can paste it in your Elementor editor into another page on the same website or on another website assuming you have dynamic content for Elementor installed there as well. And this is the edit button that also takes you back into the Elementor editor, just like the one over here. Now there are a couple of other things that I want to show you. Here we have a landing page created with Elementor. And if we go down and look at the bottom of the page, we see that there is a newsletter sign-up form. So let's go and edit this page in Elementor. We'll go down to that sign up form and click on that section. Go to dynamic visibility 
and enable the dynamic content for Elementor visibility settings. Now let's make this so that we only want to show this form during the month of July and it's currently June. So I'm going to enter a date range here so that the form will only show from July 1st to July 30th. Let's save that. And now let's go back and look at our page. I'm going to refresh it. And now let's go down and take a look. Our form is gone. We've hidden it using dynamic content for Elementor. Now let's go into the navigator and go down and take a look. We see that this section now shows in pink with a red outline around it. And if we click on it, there's our sign up form and we can see our visibility conditions so that we know, yes, it's working as it should be because we can look at the conditions that were set. So the front end navigator is also a good tool for debugging the visibility settings. Okay, so finally, let's take a look at the cross site copy and paste. So here's this sign up form with the visibility condition set. I click copy. Now remember this page on the Elementor 360 site? Let's go in and edit it. And let's go to the bottom. We'll select paste from clipboard. And there's our subscription form. Let's take a look at that. Go take a look at the visibility settings and at the date and time settings. And we see that those were carried over as well. So that's a look at the new feature, front end navigator of the dynamic content for Elementor add-on. The text version of this video is available on the Elementor 360 website, along with other tutorials, reviews, and resources. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.